strong acids with care. They're really corrosive and they're very dangerous if you don't handle them properly. So we're gonna talk about how to handle them properly. So we'll start with the seven strong acids. We have chloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydrochloric acid, hydroiodic acid, nitric acid, perchloric acid, and sulfuric acid. And these are their chemical names and these are their formulas right here. You'll need to know their formulas even though in your lab notebook you're going to mostly see them in their written version. You also need to know their chemical formulas. And for Organic Chemistry 1 and Organic, organic Chemistry 2 labs, the four main strong acids you're going to be using are these checkmarked ones right here. So you'll be using hydrobromic acid, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, and sulfuric acid. And again, you need to know their chemical formulas because that's what you'll see on the bottles and occasionally in your reactions. But your lab notebook will probably say the names. So you'll also be using some weak acids in the Organic Chemistry 1 and Organic Chemistry 2 labs. The first of which is acetic acid, and this is the formula for it. Um, we'll be using this in lab. And then we'll also use phosphoric acid, and you'll need to know the formula for this as well. When we use phosphoric acid, we use it as 85%, which is just as corrosive as a strong acid, so we consider it a strong acid. Um, another compound we use, or reagent, is acetic anhydride. Um, and it's not considered an acid, but when it's mixed with water, um, it creates an acid and can be corrosive as well. Okay, so whenever we use any strong acid in the lab, always wear your safety protective equipment, glasses, goggles, and gloves, and lab apron, and your feet must be toe cover shoes. So because safety is very important for us, and now you are ready to handle these acids. Hydrochloric acid or nitric acid both, right? Yes. So these are all the acids you'll see in lab and these are all the acids that you'll be working with. In the same way we have to use. Yes. Yes. So here I would like to show you what will happen if uh, you will spill sulf concentrated sulfuric acid on your cloth. So here this is a towel you can see. And then if I will spill one drop here. And you will immediately see after some time it will become black and char this this will happen so you will see also here also so this is the very important that you have to be very careful to when you are handling the acid 
don't spill on your cloth don't spill on your skin so now you can see within a minute it's become char completely Same thing will happen with the SCL. Yes. Yeah, so in case you're working with some HCL and this is in a test tube and that just knocks over and it spills out. Yeah, you can see here. That's how you neutralize it. Just make sure to neutralize all the bits. Station or take a emergency safety shower if it is required. 